In this video, we're going to create a custom in-place window uh, with an arbitrary shape and include a glass pane and a wooden frame or a frame and assign the appropriate materials to it. Creating an in-place window by going to window um, and by going to window and then choosing model in place is only one of two up at least two options how to create a custom window the, the preferable way uh, if you're going to reuse um, a window uh, over and over again in your project you're probably better off um, creating a proper family of your own uh, instead of this in place family uh, we have more controls and can actually assign to some parametric components such as uh, the width of the frame or uh, the thickness of the glass pane and, and so forth. But now we're going to do it in a sketchy, uh, quick and dirty way. So I've got a wall. Uh, I created this model in place window. And the first thing I want to do is create um, the opening in um, in uh, SketchUp. Uh, I'm not... Um, I'm going to draw this um, in, in a 3D perspective and let's make it a uh, let's make it a non-rectangular shape uh, close the line, say finish and we already got a hole in the wall as the next thing uh, what you want to do is go to one of the elevations where you can have a proper view onto this and create some, uh, so finish this uh, Finish this and then go back to edit in place and create some solid extrusion uh, to first create the window frame. Um, when the current elevation is not um, is not in a good alignment with a, a, a work plane, you can pick um, a plane by using, for example, the wall you drew uh, that is the host of the um, the opening host of the window to move along. Now I'm just simply redrawing uh, a closed polyline over the of the opening of my initial window hole and I'm going to offset um, this by an amount of let's say 50 millimeters um, and by pressing tab um, I'm not oh sorry by pressing tab I'm not only um, offsetting one side so like this but by pressing tab I'm going to offset the whole chain that which spares me uh, of um, having to trim uh, and connect the offset lines myself okay so by having this uh, inner circle the extrusion uh, modeling command automatically detects um, that this is kind of an island that has to be cut out so by finishing the extrusion and going back to 3d view you see that there is actually a um, there is actually just this, uh, a thin frame has been created. Unfortunately, this thin frame has been uh, offset into the wrong direction, and that can be changed either by, by trying to do it in the three D view and dragging it, um, let's say, in to align be in alignment with the uh, default pre existing wall going to leave that uh, like that for, uh, for the moment going back to my elevation view um, and I'm going to create um, I'm going to create another sorry um, another extrusion which will be my glass pane so uh, I'm going to create another solid as an extrusion I'm going to again pick the plane of of let's say the window frame and then quickly draw over the inner of the inner side of the window frame I just drew. So finish extrusion. And this time, uh, as you see, the window pane is a solid blick, uh, a solid block, which is undesirable. Is desirable. And this time, I'm going to go to the second floor, uh, and I'm switching to a wireframe, to wireframe zoom in this is my glass pane and I'm going to realign the, um, the existing uh, realign this glass pane 
to be somewhat thinner. Okay, just a, a sketch anyway. And going back to the 3D view, I see that my window is almost completed. The only thing that is left to do is because I cannot really see through it now. Um, and if I go into a shaded, shaded to a shaded view, I see that all of this is um, uh, is made of the default material. So going back to going back to, uh, for example, the, let me first pick the let me first pick the window pane like this, and I'm going to Element Properties and then Instant Properties. I can assign a sub a category of this since I've created an in place window one of the separate categories I can assign is a glass which automatically assigns a glass uh, transparent glass material uh, and since the material of this object is assigned to be as as cat by category this creates a, a bluish a bluish transparent um, material to it which is also viewable in this shaded view if I go to my window uh, to the frame itself go to instant properties again um, and I I'm now overriding the category I, I should still I should still assign um, a subcategory to it um, and on uh, and then I'm going to anyway override this with a custom with a custom uh, material so for example in shading I would like to have this in a well, let's say in a, in a brownish woodish brown um, the surface pattern should be also a brownish a brownish wooden tone okay like this I say okay I could also um, do the uh, the rendering appearance and so forth and now I've got this uh, wooden looking frame and a transparent paint which concludes custom made windows finish model